the focus of my channel is to share and educate on how to buy less, buy better. It's not necessarily about buying less things, it's about buying something that fits its purpose perfectly and serves you for as long as possible. It seems to me like there are three types of men. The guy who wears jeans every day, the guy who wears chinos every day, and then the third less common type who's big into menswear and wears a range of different trousers. In the recent months, we have started to cover jeans, a great trouser for pretty much every day, and the one that will ultimately get the job done, whatever you need it to do. But what about chinos? They seem just as versatile, maybe even a little more exciting than jeans. What is a chino? What should you look for? What brands make one that are worth investing in and what should you wear them with? All questions I want to answer over the next few weeks, beginning with today, with the history of the chinos and what brands I considered across a range of different price points and what you may want to consider before getting a new pair. Men's chino pants have a long and interesting history. They were first introduced in the 19th century as a military uniform for the British and French soldiers. The pants were made from a sturdy cotton twill, which was both comfortable and durable. Over time, these pants became very popular among civilians as well, and were often worn by men for casual or business occasions. During the 20th century, the chino pant was commonly worn by men in the American military, and the term chino came to be associated with the pants themselves. The pants continued to be made from the same durable cotton twill fabric and were available in a range of colors including khaki, olive green and navy blue. In the modern day, chino pants are still a popular choice for men's clothing. They're typically made from cotton, though you do find quite a few that are made with synthetic fibers thanks to help with less wrinkles, more stretch and more comfort, but arguably less durability. Chino pants are often worn by men for casual occasions and are often paired with something like a button down shirt or a polo shirt. Some men even wear chinos as part of their business attire, especially in those more sort of relaxed office environments. That's probably the pant of choice. Overall, the history of the men's chino is fascinating and one that has evolved over time, from the origins as the military uniform pants to the modern day popularity among men of all ages. The chino pants have remained a staple of men's fashion. There are many different brands that produce chino pants. Some of them are among the most well-known brands in the world, things like Levi's, Banana Republic, J. Crew. These brands are known to offer a range of styles and shapes and materials for whatever the occasion may be. In addition to these well-known brands, there are also many smaller independent brands that produce higher quality chino pants. These brands are more specialized or niche and they offer unique styles or fabrics. Ultimately, there are a huge range of chinos out there. So let's start to think about what we want to be looking for in a buy less by better chino and what that actually looks like and what brands offer that. Starting with the fit, very much like denim, chinos, and I suppose trousers in general, can be classified in a similar way to how we outlined the styles and cuts in our denim guide. It's worth a watch if you're wanting to know more about each cut and style and which may be appropriate for your body type. Today, men have a wide variety of chino pants to choose from. Chino pants are available in a range of styles, including straight legs, slim fit, relaxed fit, you know, Bob's your uncle, you can choose whatever you like. A traditional pair of men's chinos in terms of what the originals, the ones that I sort of like the look of would have looked like, would have a straight leg cut, which means that the pants would be sort of relatively fitted through the hips and the thighs and then fall straight down to the ankle without any tapering. The cut is flattering on most body types and is a classic timeless look. When worn on a man, chinos will typically sit at or slightly above the waist, will have a zipper fly, and button closure at the very top to finish it all off. Pants also typically have belt loops allowing the wearer to add a belt as an accessory. All of these are good elements to pay attention to when you're looking at identifying what to look for in terms of the fit of a pair of buy less buy better chinos. Of course, we all have preferences. For example, I prefer a cut that's slightly high waisted and I actually like the look and repairability of a button fly closure over a zip because it's, I don't know if the zip breaks you kind of stuff. Though I realized that the button closure is a significant reduction in efficiency doing up your pants. So, you know, that's always a concern. Ultimately, you want something that's not too form fitting, but it fits you nicely and allows for plenty of movement. Hence why I suggest a straight cut. As chinos typically, but not always, have had no pleats in them, it's also really important to ensure that the 
front part across here around your waist and bump accommodate enough room to move as part of the fit if you're going to be standing up and sitting down and standing up and sitting down so without pleats there you need to make sure that that area is going to be nice and comfortable Traditionally, chino trousers were made from cotton or a cotton blend. This cotton is typically lightweight and very comfortable with a medium to lightweight thickness. The weave of the fabric can vary, but chinos are often made with a twill weave like they were originally, which creates a diagonal pattern on the surface of the fabric. This type of weave is durable and gives the pants a slight texture, making them more resistant to stains and wrinkles. Some modern upper end mall brands will make their chinos with a plain weave, which is a basic even weave and creates a smooth sort of uniform texture on the surface. This type of weave is typically less durable, but very comfortable and quite easy to care for. And it's a great option if you intend to wear your chinos to an office or to more formal types of situations. My personal preference is a twill weave because it shares a lot of the positive properties of a denim fabric. They really are quite similar. A twill weave is a type of weave that threads are interlaced in a diagonal pattern, which creates a distinct diagonal rib on the surface of the fabric. This type of weave is strong, durable and resistant to wrinkles, but at the same time is often referred to as very breathable and comfortable as a fabric. Similar to denim, it also has a tendency to fade, though in a much less dramatic way. You don't have the indigo dyes here. And twill fabric tends to break in and starts to mold and follow the shape of your body as you wear them. They become very, very, very comfortable. It's also a bit more interesting to look at than a plain weave, whilst having those similar characteristics that the military appreciated and that sort of Ivy League style in terms of the durability but also the relaxed sort of slouchy nature of them and being insanely comfortable. There's not much to comment here in terms of the construction other than to say that in addition to traditional chino pants there are a number of other styles of pants that are similar to chinos but have slight differences. For example cargo pants often have additional pockets while jogger pants have a more relaxed and tapered fit. I guess you could also consider all the military and safari inspired trousers made out of a similar cloth to be a chino in a way, meaning that a chino could literally end up meaning any trouser that is made out of cotton. And to be fair, that's pretty much what's happened in today's society. For us, we're looking for something that is simple, clean, like a traditional pair of chinos that we referenced earlier. A clean front, simple fly with some belt loop, adding things like side adjusters and extended waistbands are great. Again, if you're intending to be wearing these pants to an office. But for a more Ivy inspired, do it all look like the one that I enjoy, you wanna try and minimize these as much as possible. Though I admit things like side adjusters and pleats do make things more comfortable, it's a balance that you're going to have to strike. So why are chino pants such a great choice for the modern man? One of the main reasons is their versatility. Chino pants can be dressed up or down depending on the occasion. They are also available in a variety of colors, including classic shades like khaki, olive green, and navy blue, as well as modern colors like gray, beige, red, green, I mean, you name it, there's probably a chino out there made in that color. I think a pair of beige or khaki would be my first pair, followed by a pair of navy blue, and then probably olive green. They all have their place in the wardrobe, but a navy blue pair could be replaced with a pair of jeans and an olive pair could become something more interesting than a chino like a military inspired trouser it's okay to have a couple of different pairs of chinos in different fits and styles because ultimately a chino is just a cotton trouser anyway for the sake of the next part of the video we're going to focus on the most trad chino that ivy league semi-military inspired japanese vibe chino hopefully that painted a really good picture it's got a straight leg, twin needle stitching down the outer leg, maybe a coin pocket, and it will be made from a high quality tool fabric. I'm going to focus on that traditional khaki color because I think it's so incredibly versatile and it's my personal vibe. We're going to discuss a few options that you may want to consider in the entry, mid and high levels in terms of cost. These are just a few brands that I could think of. It's certainly not exhaustive list. I know there are a lot of brands out there that people love and swear by, but these are the ones that I was considering when I I was looking for the, I guess, best one I could find. 
Places like Banana Republic, Bonobos, J. Crew, and even Lululemon are absolutely brands that make and or have made decent chinos in the past, but they're not really the trad vibe and we all really know about those brands anyway. So there's already probably information out there or they're not accessible in Australia like Bonobo. So really we are quite limited in what we have access to here in Australia. I'm also not going to talk about the Japanese brands. Basically, if you have a favorite pair of Japanese denim, then chances are the producer of those denims will make a chino. They'll probably be quite a good option for you if you already know the fit that you like in that brand. So it's worth exploring that if you have a favorite Japanese denim brand. Anyway, I think that's enough exclusions from the list. So let's just get into who I actually consider. As usual, Uniqlo presents the best entry into these kinds of chinos and pretty much most items of clothing. They actually had a vintage regular fit chino, which was $59.90 at the time of writing and was on sale for $29.90, which is fantastic for what they are. They look like they have some of those traditional details with the thicker stitching, the coin pocket, the slightly higher waist. So if you can find them, they look to me like they'd be better than any other mall brand and at a fairly good discount of 30 Australian dollars, that's an insane deal. They even do this little detail, which is the sewing through the waistband, which which is a detail that some high-end brands do and it's a really cool detail. They also have the standard regular fit chino, which is currently on sale for $59.90, probably goes on sale for $29.90, but it has the similar details as the vintage pair, but just toned down a bit. They may be a little bit more slouchy and a little less trad. So you know which one I'd pick, but yeah, you have the options. From this point onwards, you start to pay for much higher quality fabrics and of course things like ethical or small batch production. And they are often smaller companies with massive passions for high quality products. I realize that spending upwards of $300 on a pair of trousers, especially chinos, may seem crazy. And that's why I mentioned Uniqlo. But for my money, I won't be spending it on Uniqlo anymore. I have done it in the past, but nowadays I want to invest in something that's truly higher quality and made in a way that I feel good about supporting. At the next level up, surprisingly, is actually Informale with their very cool T140 Army Chinos, which is ultimately the pair that I ended up purchasing. Though I do want to shed some light on other brands that are worth a look and offer slightly different things, I'm going to do a full review of this pair in the next week or so, so I don't want to say too much about them right here. But for around 385 Australian dollars, they are a fantastic value and a pair that I am really glad that I chose. So other brands you may want to consider that you've never heard of. Well, there is a really cool pair from Real McCoys, specifically the Joe McCoy Chino. And it's a pair that I had actually intended to buy before the Informale ones released. Real McCoys are the most insane company and produce some of the coolest reproduction style clothing with the highest level of precision that you can find only in Japan. They literally find cool original garments from the time around sort of World War II and the 50s and make as near to identical reproductions of them using the same machines and methods that were used at the time. Their attention to detail is insane and we often say that things aren't made like they were used to be made. Well, Real McCoys are the legitimate opposite of that trend. The Joe McCoy Chino Trouser are a sort of contemporary take on the US Army trousers. They want you to think of Steve McQueen in The Great Escape. It's made from West Point cloth. They have a mid-weight handle, so it's that nice mid-weight twill, and they'll look great over time because they'll wash and soften up. They're basically the exact iconic perfect chino that we've been discussing and referencing in terms of that trad look. I haven't seen them in person or even tried them on so I can't speak how they fit. Maybe one day I'll pick up a pair, but I still think they're super cool and really, really worth a look. They're going to cost you 220 great British pounds, which is around 400 Australian dollars. Finally, at the top end, we have the Armoury, a staple for some, but possibly unknown to others. They have two options on their website, and I've just spent a few minutes trying to understand what the differences were, but ultimately I couldn't really figure it out. So we're going to focus on the sport chinos, which are made by Ring Jacket. Ring Jacket, if you're unaware, are a highly renowned Japanese menswear brand, and they are really, really well known for their quality. They come with all the little details that you expect. Twin needle stitching, military pocket, high waist, straight leg. They are also available 
available in khaki, navy, and olive. To me, they look incredibly well made and have all the details that we are after. The way I'd want to choose these over the others on this list would probably come down to the fit, which I can't comment on at this point, sadly. They're 325 USD, so just under 500 Australian dollars, which is expensive, but clearly they're an extremely well-made pair that are made to last a lifetime. Men's chino pants are a timeless and versatile wardrobe staple that every man should have in his closet. With their rich history and wide range of styles and colors to choose from, there's a perfect pair of chino pants out there for every man. Next week, we'll cover my pair from Informale, the T140, a very, very cool pair of pants that's up there for one of my favorite pants that I own, so keep an eye out. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the history of the men's chino pants, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.